Alena Hatvani, commonly known as Alena Kasinova, was one of the most successful Czech female bodybuilder and professional competitor in the IFBB organization. In 2017 Alena won gold, in the Ben Weider Legacy Cup Women's Physique category New Zealand. Her dream was to compete in the Ms. Olympia competitions which if it wasn't for COVID-19, she would have participated in 2020. All her hopes and dreams come to an end on the fateful day at the NPC Pro League, Europa Pro competition in Spain Alicante. On August 15, 2021, Alena Hatvani collapsed just minutes before stepping on the stage to compete. The competition was meant to start at approximately 9.30 a.m., a few hours before stepping on the stage to compete in the women's bodybuilding category, while she was getting her final touch-ups to her. 10. She started to faint. The staff ran to her rescue by getting her seated down. She immediately fell back to the ground when she tried to get up. She kept falling in and out of consciousness, while shaking the entire time. At some point she stopped responding at all. Sources say that the ambulance took about an hour to arrive to the place. She was rushed to the hospital, doctors tried there. Best to revive her but all in vain. Alena passed away. Some people allegedly say that she actually didn't make it to the hospital. She was trying to qualify for the 2021 milliseconds Olympia weekend. The organizers did not make a statement around her death right away but they later stated that her cause of death is allegedly due to extensive use of diuretic drugs. Diuretics, commonly known as water pills, are often abused by athletes to excrete water, for rapid weight loss, and to mask the presence of other banned substances. They help get rid of salt or sodium and water from the body through the kidney. An individual may end up suffering from dehydration. They are also used by many female bodybuilders. Alena had to diet hard to compete with athletes half her age. It's also said that she already had other medical problems like cancer leading up to the event but it has not been confirmed. Her death brought to the limelight so many questions. Whether coaches are asking too much from their athletes, and whether more regulations are needed from governing bodies and necessary stakeholders to protect athletes. Also many known female bodybuilders both professional and amateur come up and openly sensitize the public and upcoming athletes about the dangers of extreme use of diuretics. She was married with two children. May her soul rest in peace.